Okay, so this is my video tutorial on how to replace the uh, springs, like the uh, recoil spring and the hammer spring. Uh, when I looked on YouTube, uh, I couldn't find out how to replace the hammer spring, but uh, I figured it out. So, this is a Tokyo Marie uh, 1911 5.1 High Kappa. He uh, says Tokyo Marie right there. Uh, I don't know if my camera can see it. Probably not. The light's really weird in here. Hang on. There you go. Alright, Tokyo Marie in Japan. So, okay. So anyway, to replace the uh, springs, uh, you need to first take out the mag. Um, I'm gonna cock it and move it to the second notch and then push the uh, pin out from the opposite side and take your slide off. So, okay, so to get the uh, recoil spring out, you want to pull that back and your recoil spring. Oh, by the way, this is a custom gun from the slide portion and inside, so it's not, I'm not sure if it's the same. I bought it off of a friend and uh, it was already somewhat custom and then I customized it after that. So I'm guessing that this is pretty much the same on how you take that part out. Uh, and putting it in is basically the same thing, how you take it out. Uh, okay, for the hammer spring. Some people say that you have to unscrew, there's a screw in there, uh, and these two screws, and then take the whole receiver por portion off. Uh, the easiest way to do it is just to take a screwdriver or something small and punch out the little uh, rod that's holding in this portion of the uh, grip. And you punch that out, it'll come out the other side and that will shoot up because it's the spring in there. Okay, so the spring is inside this little box thing. There is a little tiny metal rod that's holding it in right there, that thing. Um, it's only going halfway, so you just take a screwdriver or whatever you have that's small and then just push that off to the side and your recoil, or no, not your recoil, uh, hammer spring sorry uh, will pop up and that's basically the hammer spring um, this is the upgraded one I have the original one here so you can see the new ones just a little bit longer than the old one but anyway to put that back in you just wanna slide that in then push this down and then push the little rod back in when it's far enough down. Okay, so what I had trouble with when this happened to me, um, the leaf spring that works the trigger and the grip safety, uh, the hammer, uh, got out of place when I followed another video and took the whole thing off. Um, so, um, let's see the flashlight uh okay so the one to the farthest to your left is gonna just stay up nothing the middle one is gonna go on top of this little metal piece it looks like a little metal triangle inside it goes over that and then onto the hammer uh hammer stop and the far one to the right goes above the triangle i don't know if you can really see it it's kind of camera's not really that good with the lighting uh, it goes on top of the little triangle so yeah then after you put that in um, just squeeze the grip safety and line up the hammer rod and it should be kind of springy just push that part down and then slide the rod back in and there you have it check to see if your trigger works 
should stop in two positions. It does. So then just put the uh, slide back on. Same way you took it off. And line up the grooves. Push that part back in. And there you have it. And that was my video tutorial on how to do that. If you have any questions, just comment or whatever, yeah.